April the 4th, the year 2001, the place, London. Our capital, which has witnessed so many unforgettable scenes of pomp and circumstance, today explodes with excitement at the first royal wedding of the 21st century. His Royal Highness, the Prince Eric, has chosen for his bride a young woman who first came to prominence as a child singer back in the 1970s, Miss Zena Lavarone. <laughs> what makes today a truly memorable occasion is that all the stuffy decorum that has taken the edge off so many coronations and state funerals has at last been jettisoned. Today, you, the viewers, have a personal stake in the impressive ceremonial and the sacred, intimate moments of the marriage service. Yes, it's the very first royal wedding phone-in. Remember, this is your wedding and its success depends on your phone call, so keep those questions rolling in. I've just had word that the procession has started on its route to the Abbey, so let's join our outside broadcast camera. Wedding phone in. Can I help you? Hello. Good morning. <laughs> this is Miss Thelma Clark of Hamel Hempstead. Can you tell me, please, what you use to keep your breastplate so bright and shiny? Oh, gosh, <laughs> Miss Price, I'm afraid you've got me stumped. Uh, yes, I, I should have to ask my Batman. Uh, hang on just a moment, please. Uh, extension 64, please. Batman, sir. Hello, Batman. Robin here. I've got Miss Price on the line. She wants to know what do we use to pull up that thing that I wear over the old titties. Yes, <laughs> sir. Ah, yes. Thank you so much. Hello, Miss Price. Evidently, it's something called Brussels, sir. Thank you ever so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. An impressive sight. His Majesty the King riding in the heavy, ornate state coach with a glittering cavalcade of horsemen as escort. His mother, happy to be out of it all at Epsom, but I'm sure <laughs> proud as she watches him on her radio record. This is His Majesty the King in the state coach. We are not about to start. Please stand by for the Westminster Abbey and awaiting his bride the rather lonely figure of Prince Eric in naval uniform. The BBC has asked me to remind you that if you are phoning Prince Eric the correct form of address is your Royal Highness and not hello sailor. <laughs> At last the heavy threatening clouds have blown away and now the sun shines brightly on a beautiful bride Miss Zena Lavaroni. It was nearly 30 years ago that opportunity knocked for Zena, and she's still a great favourite at Palace Sing Songs with her rendition of Queen Mom, He's Making Eyes at Me. The man who made those eyes at Zena is, of course, Prince Eric. One wonders what thoughts are flashing through his mind as his bride is being interrogated by Sir Robin Day. Handsome in old age and as upright as ever. Your husband-to-be is heir presumptive to the throne. Surely you must ask yourself whether a Scottish nationalist queen of Italian origins and show business background can provide a suitable consort. Well, it depends where you hold the concert. <laughs> now I can see the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Clement Freud. <laughs> Very much the elder statesman now, but he still has a lovely glossy coat and a wet nose. Be again as we near the great moments. Sights and sounds to warm the heart as the bells ring out a joyful wedding peal. Soon the silence will be shattered by the trumpeter's fanfare. Good morning to you. This is the Archbishop of Canterbury. Sitting a bit 
for me and me mates at work. Feel free to put your question. What's the proper way to address an archbishop? I say it's your grace. Me mates say it's our gracie. <laughs> Who's right? You are my son, and God bless you. Oh, a beautifully smooth change there from GPO to C of E. <laughs> Here. Oh, it's Gwen here. Gwen! Gwen isn't here. Can you tell me when she'll be back? <laughs> wrong number. Pardon? Wrong number! Wrong number! Wrong number. After four hot herald. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's now two hours since the happy couple became man and wife. Zena and Prince Eric, the man with whom she will share her future happiness, have returned to the palace. But perhaps the real unsung heroes of the day are you, the great British public, who have responded so magnificently with your phone calls. Some of them trite, some of them confused, some of them downright obscene. <laughs> All of them so very well worthwhile. After news at Temple, we'll be giving you the phone number of the newlyweds' honeymoon hotel, so do keep up the good work. And now, another innovation. On earlier state occasions, a brief appearance on the balcony was an impressive sight, and one calculated to send the crowds away happy. But today, we, the loyal subjects, have asked for, indeed demanded, something more. And as the balcony slowly starts to descend, it is indeed royalty follies. 